Alright, first, people playing the bottom notes, this is your very last video, yay, of Sansenion, and you've got the whole thing learned. Alright, so we're doing 127 to the end. Uh, these are for, this video is for people playing the bottom notes, the bottom divisi. Uh, and if you're struggling with reading what those notes are, <clears throat> feel free, of course, to write some finger numbers, some note names underneath, um, just so your eyes can catch when we're going at these faster, faster tempos um, of what those notes actually are. All right, so nothing too major with, with your part for these bottom notes. You do have a lot of F-sharp accidentals, so regular one on the E string. Don't forget, though, you do have low four still, E-flat, no open E's. Uh, and we're going to do this first chunk, which is 127 to 143. Um, note that it does say spiccato. Uh, we're not going to bounce it off the string right now. We're just looking at the notes. Uh, so keep it on the string right about in the middle. And here is our slow tempo, learning 127. One and two and... two times in a row. You do have to watch out for low fours on both strings again, but not too bad. So let's speed it up. We're going to add the accents in, which creates a very cool syncopated rhythm uh, when we have everybody together. So you're accenting basically the note changes plus beat four, and that's uh, the note changing after three eighth notes on the and. That's what gives it that syncopated feel, that syncopated rhythm. All right, so a little bit faster. You can keep it on the string for right now. We'll talk about spiccato in class, but here's faster at 127 with the accents. One, two, three, and four, and. And then it does the same thing again. So keep working on that. Make sure you're in tune with your low fours. There's a big hand spread with the low one in there as well. Uh, and now, good news, we're going to slow down a little bit um, at 143 to Allegro Grandioso. If you're like, well, that was already kind of slow, 127 is actually going to go at this speed. Okay, so Allegro Grandioso, think grand, very big, so we're pulling back the tempo just a bit. Uh, and nothing too crazy with this section either. So here we go, at 143 Allegro Grandioso. One and two and... be a matter of keeping track of where you are, not getting lost, uh, and again, watching out all your B-flats. So work that up, which is a little bit faster, but that's pretty close to tempo. And now here's your very last two lines, 159. Um, again, we've got some E-flats and some F-naturals to watch out for. Um, if you take a look at 164 and 165 real quick, the rhythm for that, we're starting on a low 4, B-flat, okay, and you're just going back and forth between a B-flat, low 4, and a 3. So half step, keep your fingers tight. Oh, that is wrong. Did you catch that? So I didn't pick up my finger, but it goes three. And then a nice B flat low two for the last one. All right, so here we go. Last part, 159 to the end. Two, three, and.
there you go. A uh, little trick for 159, by the way, before you close this up. So you're starting on a three. Just lay your low four right next to it. And then you know that's in tune. And then just transfer your three over to the, to the E string. All right, guys, you made it. Congratulations again. Um, keep working hard. This is a, a tricky piece. A lot of different sections to it, but it's going to sound really cool when we're all together.